got him, dude. Dude, are you kidding me right now? Bump us over our uh, highest limit of the year. So it is 521 in the morning right now and I have made it to Little Sunapee Lake in New London, New Hampshire. And this is where the sixth event for Slay Nation is going to be. Originally, this event was supposed to be at Stumpfield Marsh in Hopkinton, New Hampshire, but that place is like eight feet high and that place is actually closed off, so we had to reschedule it. Luckily, we were able to get a permit in time for this lake right here. Now, I was here just maybe about a month ago in June, and everybody did pretty well, so I definitely expect there to be limits well above 90 inches today, and that's what I think it's going to take to win. If I can get a little over 90 inches, maybe 92, 93 inches between me and my partner, I think we'll be looking good for top three. That being said, it is an entire month later, so the fishing could be completely different. Oh. Why well, didn't I just do that? Now, we all don't launch until seven o'clock in the morning, so I still have an hour and a half, which is plenty of time to get ready. We all launch at seven o'clock. We all have to be back at the ramp at 3 p.m., and it's a five fish limit, and minimum length is 12 inches. I just called my little car again. I just saw it dialing. All right, quick time check. It is 6.50. 10 more minutes. Starting off with a paddle tail swim bait. Alright. Alright. This paddle tail swim bait is a four inch hazardong shed and the oop already got a bite. Oh, never mind. Oh. Alright, let's try that again. Fish hit it on the fall and just tore the thing up. Yeah, I looked it. Yeah, I'm getting a lot of them. that rock. I still haven't found that rock. Let's already do a little bit of a switch up. We drop shotting a Berkeley hitworm. I expected to get snagged up pretty shortly, but you never know. Dude, really? Like, can you not be a 
for like two seconds maybe. Oh, I got one. Had one. Jeez. I think that uh, smallmouth right there got me unsnagged. But of course, I lost another drop shot. Wait. Yo, I think a big one. Never mind. Yeah. I caught one last time I was here. Look at the size of this pick. Big old pick. What are you using now? What are you using now? Running at me. Enough. Well, no, yes. Why does that always happen every tournament? All right, 12 and a half. Obviously not really the size we're after, but I guess that's not a bad start. All right, so we've been fishing now for roughly an hour. And my buddy has a 17 and a quarter and I have a 12 and a half to show for it. I'm gonna try something a little bit different and switch to a robo worm. Yeah.
Yo, nice one. Yep. It's pulling me. Don't be a pick. Don't be a pick. Yo, good largey. Good largey. That's what we need, boys. There we go. There we go, guys. That's one of the right ones right there. 19 on the money. Let's go. And I was able to get that hook out for him, too. Nice. Another nice one. Feels like a 15, 16. me off no I felt it it was like 15 16 I just got in a rock and then I got snagged up for like a split second and then just pop Thirteen and three quarter right there. Goodbye. So nineteen, seventeen, thirteen, and twelve. One more for a limit. Oh my god, it's a rock fish. And I knew you were. Oh 
more drop shot weights. Awesome. So what we're going to do now is we don't really have a choice. I still want to keep throwing a Ned because that flatworm seems to be working. I definitely think I'm going to be able to uh, catch a limit on the Ned. So it should be fine. Well, my buddy just picked off a fish over there, and that is our limit, hopefully. Oh, did you say 11 and a quarter? Oh. There's the limit. Got one too. Ah. Thank you. Appreciate that. Little bass, undersized, definitely not going to keep. But uh, first bite on this Ned rig. It's been a while since I got a bite. I was actually not really having high hopes for this Ned. I really thought the drop shot was just working a little bit better, but after these two fish, it does kind of raise my uh, confidence a little bit in the Ned. I have a limit. Two 13s, a 17, a 19, and then a 12. We definitely have to get rid of that 12 with at least a 20 inch here if we want to compete in this thing. I hope the wind noise isn't too bad and you guys can actually understand me right now but just for the time being no more chest cam only because I just don't have the batteries for it anymore so just for the next couple hours it's gonna be you guys back there and then I'm gonna switch back to the chest cam towards the end of the tournament when my batteries are charged but I think I'm going to switch over to a black and blue finesse jig and uh, try to get bit on that going low and slow Yo. All right, so I'm gonna be switching over to this wacky rig. I think it shallows up up here. Just from past experience, I believe that's what happens. any more drop shot weights that's why I switched to the Ned like otherwise I would still be drop shotting That's 
just talking about beating my 12, dude. That's what I'm talking about. Let's go. All right, 15 and a half. Well, that's a 12 inch here, but that's not gonna help. Our smallest right now is like 13 and a quarter, I believe. Giant dude, giant, I think. No, never mind, just fighting me hard. Oh! That'll pull. 14 and a half. Fourteen and a half. And a dance to go. There we go. Dang it. There we go. Little guy. Dude, this is a small, small. Get up here, dog. Little 10, 11 incher. I said, I hope we do come in the top three. That way we can stop somewhere, or I can stop somewhere and get food. Switching over to a Lucky Craft Square Mill. Color is called Cowboy or Cowgirl Gill.
Yes, sir, dude. Let's go. Oh, dude. 19 and a quarter. Five inch cull right there. Another big one, dude. I think. That's a 16 and a half right there. I think it should be decent size to use that jig this way when I get here. Yep. Alright, so both those fish came on this black and blue jig just using a rage chunk trailer. Had another bite right there. Missed him. He's back. Soaked me. What what does it have to be? 15 on the money. Maybe I could have squeezed it to 15 and a quarter. Got one. I don't know. Yes. Yes. like a little bluegill out there. I think this might be a 20. It's gonna be damn close. It's not, it's gonna be really fucking close. Let's go! Uh, Let's go, 18 and a quarter. So let's do a quick time check. It is 2.05 right now. So we have a little bit less than an hour. And uh, me and my buddy have a decent limit. We've actually tied our uh, kind of highest we've ever gotten with 90 and a half inches right now. And now that is good. Don't think that's going to be enough to win this tournament. That is going to put us probably up in the top five. But uh, to really win this thing, we really need to catch like a 20 incher to uh, cull the uh, couple 17s we have. And uh, if we can do that, then we're looking pretty good. Yo, big bass, big bass, right in the grass. Yep, it's like half dead. Careful of going into the weeds. What is it doing? How close am I? Got him, dude. Fucking way, dude. Yo. Nice job, dude. That's a big one. Yes, dude. Unreal. Dude. Yes. Oh. Dude, are you kidding me right now? <laughs> That's insane, dude. <laughs> what?
That's a big one too. That is a big one. <laughs> oh my god, dude, what was it doing there? <laughs> what the heck? There's the bolt launch, guys. We got 10 minutes left of the tournament. Just caught a solid bass right at the end here. I don't know what it was doing. I just saw it chilling in some weeds in like two feet of water and cast it over to it. <laughs> that was the coolest. Back in the truck, it's a little after three o'clock right now, so the tournament is over. And me and my buddy, in my opinion, did pretty decent today. We definitely got a limit over 90 inches. We either had like 92 and a half or 93 and a half. Either way, that's pretty good for putting us in the top three. Unless other people also went out and hammered them. Unfortunately, I don't think we're gonna get lunker with our 19 and a quarter, I think our biggest is. But we had three 19s, an 18, and a 17, which is a pretty good limit and just kinda Hopefully it was slow for everybody else. Now today was kind of junk fishing. I used like five or six different lures to try to figure them out. And it really wasn't until I switched to the jig that I got on the bigger bites. And man, am I glad that I did because if I didn't pick up that jig and hook into those couple big fish, we would not be looking so good right now. But anyway, it's just time to uh, wait and see. Last time we were here was better. Uh, so taking first place today, we got Nate and Zach. 93 and a quarter. Oh, no. <laughs> In second place today, we got Joe, 91. Taking third place, we got Justin, 85 and a quarter. <laughs> 